Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs in the Cosmos ecosystem. Today I'm carrying on with my Cosmos 365 challenge where I'm attempting to outperform Bitcoin by investing $1,000 each month into the Cosmos ecosystem. I'm actually keeping a thread on Twitter of all the different investments I'm making. So if you prefer reading about things as opposed to watching videos, you might be interested in that. Now today, what I'm going to be doing is buying some DYDX tokens and staking them. Now, why am I doing that? It, it turns out that all the fees generated by the platform are gonna be distributed to stakers. And in the last 30 days, the fees have been eight and a half million dollars. And what makes it even more exciting for me, I think, is this tweet from the DYDX Foundation that's saying over 434 million ETH DYDX have been bridged over to the new chain. But, and this tweet is a few days old from November 23rd, at the moment, only about 15 and a half million tokens have been staked. What I want to do is get some DYDX and stake it. So what I'm going to do is go over to my Mars Protocol credit account. So essentially I'm just using this as a bank account. And what I'm going to do is go into this one here. And you can see I've deposited lots of stable coins. And I mean, I'm earning just a little bit of interest. So it's probably better in here than just sitting on osmosis. Um, and I'm going to withdraw a little bit from this account. So I can go in here and choose withdraw. I'm going to withdraw USDT and I will withdraw $200. So I'm going to buy $200 worth of DYDX tokens and then just stake these to a validator. And the validator I'll be staking to today is Orbital Command. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, I'm part of the Orbital Command validator. Um, it's nice on the Kepler dashboard website, really easy to stake. So this is some Atom that I've got staked with Don Kryptonium. And I'll be going into this section here. In fact, I'll just make DYDX a favorite. And then on this DYDX section, once I get some DYDX onto the DYDX chain, I'll have the option to stake from here. So if I go over to Osmosis now, I should be able to swap some, sorry, I'm gonna have to refresh the page. Yep, we can see my USDT has arrived from the Mars app back into Osmosis. Now Mars is, is on Osmosis, so it's not going cross chain or anything. Um, so I want to swap all of this, $200, in to DYDX. And that's going to give me 63 DYDX tokens. So just hit swap, sign this transaction. Now that my trade's gone through on the assets page on Osmosis, we can see that I've got this 63.2 DYDX. So I can just use the Osmosis withdraw function. And what this will do is send or allow me to send my DYDX from Osmosis over to the DYDX chain. Um, quite a lot of decimal places there. Um, I'll just withdraw this, sign the transaction, and then I should be able to go back into this Kepler dashboard. Might have to refresh. Okay, and we can see that my DYDX has moved from the Osmosis chain onto the DYDX chain, and from here, I can stake. So I'm assuming the fees are going to be relatively low. So I'm going to stake all 63 DYDX with the Orbital Command validator. So we'll just scroll down. I think we're in about 15th spot at the moment. And running at 5%. At the moment, there's no rewards. So it'll be interesting once these rewards kick in. I'm not exactly sure when that's going to happen, but hopefully for me, sooner rather than later. I'll select 63. And this is going to lock my funds for, or 
30 days. So if I want to unstake, it will take 30 days to get my tokens back. Just approve that in my wallet. And you can see here that Orbital Command, we've got a 100% voting record. We are engaged in governance on DYDX. And then back to the top, we can see that I've staked my DYDX tokens with the Orbital Command validator. And once staking rewards go live, I'll hopefully be accruing some quite nice rewards. If you've got any questions, comments, or criticisms about anything I addressed in this video, please leave them down below. Thanks.